The five Sullivan brothers were uh, young men who grew up in Waterloo, Iowa. They joined the Navy after Pearl Harbor. Uh, they joined the Navy uh, together on the agreement by the Navy that they would be able to serve on the same ship. You know, that, I mean, their motto was that they stuck together. So uh, looking at my dad and my uncles, I can understand why they wanted to be together or any siblings would want to be together. Uh, they joined um, at the Juno, the USS Juno, a light cruiser on Valentine's Day, 1942. The way I understand it, they were in a, uh, a group of ships off of Guadalcanal and there was a Japanese submarine that fired a torpedo that was not actually meant for them. Uh, it was meant for uh, the San Francisco, I think it was called, and uh, it missed it, missed the San Francisco and hit the Juno, which is a uh, light cruiser which they were aboard and it hit right in the magazine where the, all the ammunition is and it just, the ship just exploded. And uh, the only people that survived were the ones that happened to be on deck. The rest of them were just immediately gone. And they were lost at sea in November, November 13th, 1942. To me, they were heroes and I just felt like they did it, I wanted to do it. I can't tell you why, but I felt that uh, it was my calling to go into the Navy. My dad and my uncles were in the Navy, so I felt that I should go too. <laughs> of course, I wasn't a hero, but. <laughs> as far as Iowa, they were five young blue collar guys who were fairly well known in the city. So Waterloo as a city took the loss, you know, very hard. I mean, everybody sort of knew one of the brothers, knew the folks. They lived in uh, the north end of town by the railroad tracks. And so they were well known and all of a sudden these men are gone. And it's not only my dad and my uncles. There were a lot of uh, sailors in World War II that lost their life. Every one of them, you know, we should remember all of them. It just, it makes me feel good about the Navy about the military uh, and everybody that serves. Well, here at the museum, we use the five Sullivans to represent the service and the sacrifice of all Iowa veterans from the Civil War to present. So in that sense, no other family has, has sacrificed as much. Uh, and we believe that's an important story to tell. I mean, that's 70 years ago that that happened. And for the young people who come through our building, um, that loss is, is, is history to them. But, you know, every year we send out young men and women to serve in Iraq, Afghanistan, as well as other parts of the world. That sacrifice in terms of being gone and that sacrifice in terms of losing family members uh, is still there. And so it's a reminder that whether it's one individual or whether it's five individuals, you know, we are still putting people in harm's way. And one, we need to support them. And two, when they are lost, we need to recognize their service. <laughs>